Shine bright like a diamond Shine bright like a diamond before we get right into this review, I'm just going to name you guys, like, all the stuff that I did purchase and what I did not purchase. Um, actually, I'm just going to name it to one that I didn't purchase. So, I did not get the primer, which I stated on my Snapchat was because... I was, the only reason I did not get the primer was because I don't wear primers like that. And the only time that I actually do put a primer on my face is that I'm going to the club or I'm going outside on a really hot, hot day. Or, you know, it just has to be, like... Somewhere that I'm going, gonna go sweat. And I did not get her makeup brush and the beauty blender. Also did not get her setting powder. I just felt like I didn't need it. I already went ahead and moisturized my face with um this MAC hydrating balm that I bought. Lashes that I'm wearing are from Velo City Lashes. And these are their mink lashes. And I just love how natural that these lashes looks. And yeah. Trying is her foundation. And this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Guys, I ordered all my products online. And to be honest, I was actually really scared that the foundation was gonna be... Well, I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but... So far, I looked at it and it looks like it's kind of close to my skin. Also, I do have a 10 right now, so my foundation in the shade 410. I got on the bottle, it says shake well, so I'm gonna shake it up. I'm gonna take my little foundation brush and I'm gonna put a few pumps on there. Okay, I did about four pumps. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is like really watery. The good thing is it kind of matches my skin tone. Because you guys, I was so scared that this was not going to match me at all. I think I watched um, Shayla and um, a couple others that had like the similar skin tone to me. To see whether or not... Um, well, basically that's how I decided what... Um, shade I was gonna get so it does have like a very watery consistency to it and another thing it dries up pretty fast on your face so I feel like you gotta work really fast with this but I mean it blends effortlessly so I'm gonna take one more pump my forehead bro this shit looks so good this looks like my skin in a better version oh my god i am so in love you guys and what i love about this i love how it dries matte and it gives you that fresh look like it gives you such a fresh dewy look as you guys can see this area is still kind of damp so it does look more orange than like around this area right here. It hasn't oxidized yet into my skin. It just blends. This shit looks so good you guys. Like I have no words for this foundation. Like I'm completely in love. Like I only applied one coat and you guys I literally have like a full coverage right now. I don't even need to add anything else to my face. This is so bomb, and I don't think it, I don't know if it says on um, full or medium coverage. Does it? It says medium to full coverage for all. But um, I'm definitely getting like a full coverage with just one coat of makeup. I'm definitely gonna go um, stock up in a couple more before everything gets sold out. It's full coverage. It's very lightweight. I don't have that much acne or any kind of blemishes in my face. So literally all I needed was one coat. And as you guys can see, it looks... I have a full coverage right now. And to be honest, I feel like I'm wearing absolutely no makeup on my face. But again, those who are more prone to um, acne and stuff like that, you might have to build it up to get maybe a fuller coverage. But um, like I said, it all depends on your skin type as well. Now moving on to Conceal Contour and Highlight. I'm going to try her Matte Sticks 3 And I got this one in medium. Oh, these are so cool, you guys. And they're magnets, so they stick together. Yo, she did not come to play. This one is um, bamboo. And I think this is what I will probably use to um, highlight my face. And you guys, it's very creamy. And there is a lot in this, like compare, I watched a lot of other um, Kim K reviews, 
y'all she literally koaled you guys like y'all got juxt like for real but um this has a lot of product in it i'm gonna roll it up okay to the t this next does come with a lot of products in it that's how much you get in it I'm just gonna take some fix plus I'm just gonna spray my little booty blender and we're just gonna blend that all out. It is blending nicely into my skin. It's literally like melting right into my skin. This is beautiful. The reason that I also chose this color was because you guys I love like a drastic highlight so this is like literally the perfect shade the concealer literally like melted right into my skin this is so bomb Oh, a good thing is the concealer blends out really smooth. Um, I don't have any harsh lines. Under eyes are creasing a little, so we definitely will have to be setting this. I just love how rich and creamy the concealer is. And the coverage also. It hides everything. It literally, literally got everything. To contour my face to be honest with you guys I do not like cream contouring at all I honestly prefer to just use my powder and just contour my face I, I, I'm not really a big fan of cream contouring but this one I'll try it just for the sake of this video um I don't know if you guys can see that but I don't think this is really my shade you guys I just have a harsh line right there this is not even dark enough to contour my face be almost the exact same shade as my complexion yeah I cannot contour my face with this you guys you're not gonna see it it's like no point right now I'm just still gonna try to blend it out just to see how it blends out but I'm gonna take this small beauty blender and blend it out yeah I'm so pissed what the fuck what the hell yeah this is not doing anything for me oh my god i feel like i just messed my face up trying to so this one is tripping this i guess is supposed to like kind of highlight your face as well to be honest i don't like this it's like a this is more of like a peachy shade and i kind of do not like it i mean i'll swatch it on my hand for you guys to see so that's what that looks like I don't like cream highlights like that, so I probably would never be using this one. I probably will be giving it away. Only I'm in love with the concealer. The other two sticks that comes with the trio, um, not really a fan of. I don't like the cream highlight, and I also do not like the contouring shade. As you guys can see, I kind of did pick up like the wrong shade, so it was a no go for me. But um. I mean, I feel like I might have liked it had it been like the right shade. The highlighting stick, I'm not too much a big fan of. So, I, like I said, I probably will never be using these two ever again. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier setting powder to set my under eyes. That way the concealer doesn't um, crease up. This always happens to me once I use creamy um, concealer sticks. But like under my eyes always like crease up really fast. And I feel like this is already doing it. So like under my eyes. I just set it. But it's like creasing already. set my entire face I'm gonna take my Sephora micro smooth on um, face powder and I'm just gonna go over that foundation it's already matte but I want to see what it looks like after I apply products over it I'm 
gonna take some contour and shade and contour my cheeks a little since the sticks are not really doing it for me. And the next product that I have here is her um, the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. And I don't know if I should use this first or the... Okay, so this is the Highlighter Duo. Fine. These shit are so hard to open. Especially if you have nails. You're kind of retarded like I am. Okay, so... God damn. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna swatch this. Okay, Hustler Baby is sh popping. Hustler Baby is definitely popping. What is this one? Is this like a highlighter too? It looks more, it has like more of a powdery consistency. So, Hustler Baby definitely looks like a highlighter. This one this does not look like a highlighter to me. This I'll probably be using like on my brow bone. Mean, uh, what's it called? Mean Money, yeah, I'll probably be using that on my brow bone. But Hustler Baby King Guan, to tap off the excess on my finger, cause I heard like her product. Ooh, the highlight. Ooh, that's fine. Yeah, I feel like this. I can shine bright like a diamond. You guys, I hate how my under eyes are creasing so bad. Under eyes are creasing so bad. I don't know why it's creasing up like that. But it's kind of like getting to me at this point. Definitely feeling um, hustler baby. Because I'm a hustler baby. All your mama ever made was trophies, right? Why did I say trophy baby? We all, I feel so stupid right now. I mean trophy wife. I'm like trophy baby. So this is her highlighter, the one that everybody's been talking about, going crazy about. And um, to be honest, I feel like everybody hyped it up, overly hyped it up. Swatched it on my hand um, earlier. You know what I realized with this is that you have to go in so light handed for it to like not be so yellow on your face. You just want to look golden. You don't want to look like you have, you just dab the damn highlighter onto your face. Like you have to be very light handed when using this product because it's so pigmented. I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. <laughs> very a little, little bit onto my highlighting brush and apply that to my face. As you guys can see, I'm like barely dabbing it onto the highlighter itself. Moment of truth. Oh god. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. it for the camera it's the highlighter is like the highlighter is bomb but um it has this very yellow undertone so even on my face like I, I was thinking because I have a tan that it would have probably not been as yellow don't get me wrong this shit is blinding like do you see that but um it's just, like it's it has definitely has like a really yellow undertone to it my, other, my whole face and um, give my final judgment. Ooh, I love this right there. The highlight right there, though. The highlight right there, though. Glow, baby, glow. This is what you're made for. See that? You have to, like, you have to. Bam. 
I know y'all see that highlight. That shit is crazy. Y'all just want to be honest, I, I kind of just want to look like a glow stick today. So I'm going to put a little above here. Even a little on my brow bone as well. Oh, oh my God. Like, I'm definitely in love with the highlighters. Again, mine is it being so yellow. I definitely feel like I can rock this. I can I definitely feel like I'll be able to pull this highlighter off during the summertime. Here we go trying to open this shit again. Um, yeah, definitely during the summertime. I don't know if it's so much of a wintertime highlighter just because of that very um, yellowish undertone that it has. Other than that, the pigment in this highlighter is out of this world like I see where she was going with these highlighters and all right now last but not least which is like my favorite 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 I haven't tried a lip gloss yet but as you guys know I'm obsessed with lip gloss honestly that's literally all I wear is lip glosses I don't like matte lipsticks or any kind of I just don't like lipsticks period as usual I honestly can't wear lip gloss without lining my lips so I'm gonna take my brown lip pencil this is by Mac and chestnut and I'm gonna just over not overdraw my lips, but I'm gonna line my lips sort of. To be honest, I was not a fan of this shade right here. To me, this is like more of a rosy um lip gloss type, but I was not really that's the for that's one of the reasons to why I did not purchase it when I um ordered all the stuff online because I didn't like the color of it. But I swatched it on my hand and it's honestly not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Oh, this smells, oh, this smells like some kind of candy. Yeah, this smells so bomb, and it feels so good on my lips. Now I'm just gonna take my face, so I'm just gonna scent my entire face. Final verdict on this collection. I'm gonna actually go by like based on the products that I use. So the first thing was the foundation. I feel like she went above and beyond with picking each shade for each um skin tone. The foundation is very lightweight, it is full coverage. The foundation is also very buildable. So even if you did not like achieve a uh, full full coverage when you first apply it, you can always build it up to that full coverage or whatever coverage that you want. So it's very buildable, it's very lightweight. Um, I'm absolutely in love with the foundation. Like the foundation I think is like my favorite item out of the entire um collection. Secondly, the trio sticks, the mix and match trio sticks, which included the concealer, the contouring shade, and the highlighted shade. Concealer as well is medium to full coverage. It's very creamy, it goes on and it blends very very well. The only thing that I didn't like about it is that it creases a lot under your eyes and no matter how much um, setting powder I applied on my eye it still um, it still ended up creasing I did not like the um, contouring stick at all I won't say I didn't like it at all it didn't match my skin tone so for that it kind of like trolled my makeup off and trolled everything off but um to be honest I picked up the wrong shade so I can't be mad at that um, that was not my, that was not it has nothing to do with the sticks. I honestly just picked up the wrong shade. Um, again, the shade that I got would be for a lighter person, of course. Highlighted stick, I do not like at all. I don't like the color. And I also swatched it on my hand. And ever since then, it's like very, it has like this powdery consistency to it. Like I know it's a stick, but it's not like as creamy as I thought. It's like more powder. It's like, it's creamy, but it's powdery at the same time. I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say. But like, it has like some kind of powder in it. Like on my hand, it, it doesn't even feel like a cream at all. It's not creamy. I got the highlighted duo and I got um, Trophy Wife, which is my favorite so far. And also Hustle Baby. I'm really in love with Hustle Baby. I love the shade of it. And I love how uh, pigmented her highlighters are. Now again, like I said, the first shade, Mean Money in it. I don't really like that. That's more of like a, 
more like a, just a neutral um, color it's a very neutral color it's not as um it's not as shimmery as I would like it to be personally so I would honestly just use um mean money is it mean money yeah I would honestly just use mean money for like my brow bone or probably an eyeshadow to be honest but um me hustler baby is one of my favorites as well it's very pigmented and it goes on this shimmer is just bomb the highlighters are definitely a go for me she went above and beyond with the highlighters the shimmers in them everything they're just bomb like i am glowing right now you guys like i know you guys see this and lastly the lip gloss the lip gloss is not sticky at all a lot of lip glosses that i normally wear are very like tacky and very sticky this one honestly it's just it went on so smooth and the smell you guys this smells so good it literally smells like some kind of candy like honestly i would eat this if i can like it smells so bomb yeah to be honest with you guys i feel like a lot of people like overly hype this collection up i mean she does have a lot of good products um i love how she went above and beyond to cater for us like colored girls and what's not you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like subscribe share this video um let me know in the comment section down below what are your favorite um products from this collection i want to know my favorite i must say would be the um the foundation definitely the foundation um second would be the highlighter trophy wife and hustler baby those are so bomb together especially if you do mix them together they're absolutely bomb you will be glistening don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye